Welcome back to my channel. My name's Corey. Today we are going to be testing out some highly coveted, so I've heard, Sephora lip collection products. This is the Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stain. I have the shade 01 Always Red. This stuff is made in Italy. You get 5 mils in a tube and they retail for 18 Canadian dollars. You get a pretty standard doe foot applicator. It seems to pick up a good amount of product. It has kind of a really sweet smell. It tastes, it's like a chemically vanilla or something. It's really unique and very interesting. This stuff comes in a bunch of different shades, just so many shades to choose from. They do have really fun shades like greens and blues, purple, stuff that I would be super interested in wearing like day to day. So depending on how well today goes, we might want to try out some funner colors. This stuff claims to be a silky, long lasting lip stain that keeps your lips covered with bold color from AM to PM. No need to reapply or touch up through the day, bold claims. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be a lightweight stain. It does come in a matte and satin finish. This is a matte finish one. And they say just to apply it directly to your lips. Start in the center and work your way out. So let's get it on and uh, see what it's like. So far, it goes on really evenly, really easily. It is super lightweight. You don't need, a, you just need the thinnest amount to go on your lips. And the doe foot is easy to control. One swipe did uh, cover my whole lips and I actually kind of wiped off some of the extra product. And it dries down really quickly. It doesn't feel moisturizing or anything. It kind of has that like powdery, feel but it's comfortable it's not sticky at all and I think the color looks great an application was easier I would say it's definitely easier than something like Rihanna's uh, uncensored lip stain which to me was a little bit too liquidy these drier powdery formulas definitely go on easy and they're really easy to touch up so so far so good a really gentle kiss test uh, shows pretty much no transfer there is a tiny little bit and yeah seems to be it seems to be dry and ready to go already which was incredibly quick all right so what exactly do they mean when it will last from a.m. to p.m. right now it is 9 30 in the morning so let me get today started and we'll see if I need to retouch it at noon at 5 at 9 let's hope for the best and uh, hope that it wears comfortably here we go So bright. All right, so here we are post dinner. You can see it's definitely worn down a little bit. But I only touched up once today, you guys saw. Right now, it definitely feels like I don't want to layer any more on top of it. It definitely, at least on the bottom lip, it definitely feels like I need to just take a second to reapply. Mm, that feels so much better. It definitely has a powdery feeling, and as the day goes on, the more kind of powdery it feels. It's a little bit confusing because it does say it's a cream lip stain, but wherever it wore off on my lips, there was certainly no stain left. It was just like pink lips coming through. So I'm not too sure why they call it a cream lip stain, aside from the fact that they're trying to like tell you that it lasts all day. But even then, like it's not a stain stain, it's just a cream lip color that lasts a long time. Although it is really comfortable at first and there is zero transfer, which is amazing. It's not the most comfortable lip color. It definitely kind of sucks the life out of your lips as you wear it. And I would say that the Rihanna Fenty uh, Uncensored Lip Paint is maybe a little bit more comfortable to wear, but this one smears all day long. You have to like babysit this one. This one, you can pretty much like set it and forget it. 
it's on there it's not going anywhere you can kiss your boyfriend it is on there really good so both of these liquid lips lasted all freaking day for me they are complete uh, opposites in terms of formula and like comfortability so this one is more comfortable but it's less comfortable in the sense that you have to babysit it whereas this one it's less comfortable but you don't you don't need to check yourself like you're probably fine unless you need to like cover up the inner rim of your lips so let's compare colors though here so the Fenty is a little bit deeper and I would say a little bit redder like it's really a red red kind of a tomatoey kind of a cool kind of a I don't know it's just like a really good red whereas the Sephora lip cream is also a really red is also quite red I would say it's a little bit warmer and a little bit brighter and not quite as intense it's not quite as much of a punch of red all right you guys here is a huge bunch of different reds that's that one here <laughs> next is Fenty's um, uncensored next we have Stila's Beso, which is quite similar to this Sephora lip cream then we have Wet n Wild's Flame of the Game, which is way warmer. Definitely the least close match. And then finally, the Ciate's Diva, which again is also pretty similar. And on the bottom row, I have some just normal lipsticks. So we have Max Russian Red, Max Ruby, Ru Ruby Woo, which I think is pretty close. The Shiseido Ruby Copper. And finally... Besame Red from Besame. And that one also is quite similar. Hopefully that gives you a better idea of what the color looks like compared to other reds. Overall, what would I give this lipstick out of five? Personally, the uh, powdery texture isn't really my favorite. I wish you could combine these two into one to like get one that slightly transfers but it isn't so dry. It's not my favorite. I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I love that it didn't transfer. I love that it wore really well all day. And even when it did wear off, it didn't wear off terribly. Like you get a little bit of that inner rim coming off, but um, it wasn't that bad. It didn't smudge at all. It felt really secure all day. I was able to go to about six o'clock without uh, feeling like I really needed to retouch, although I probably could have retouched at that first check-in just to like cover up that um, inner rim, the butthole as some people call it. The value is really great, $18 for five mils. Can you guess which lipstick has more product in it? Yeah, this one. This one's five mils, this one's only four mils, and this one is 30 Canadian dollars. So really great value. That being said, this one's like pretty basic, whereas this one's more of that like, ooh, have that on your desk. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. This one's like, oh, lip gloss or I don't know what I'm trying to say. You guys know what I'm trying to say? I feel like I'm losing my words here. Basically, I think this is a really solid lip cream lip stain. Um, it's not uncomfortable, but as the day goes on, it definitely becomes slightly uncomfortable. They have a great color selection. I definitely want to try some of the color, the crazier colors, because I think that would be uh, a good wear test, especially if they are as richly pigmented and um, opaque as this formula. Let me know if you've tried any of the Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stain Liquid Lipsticks and if you have tried them, what is your favorite color? Have you tried any of the crazier colors? And if you have, which one would you recommend to me? If you enjoyed watching today's video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more beauty videos for me. from me. I do new beauty videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Huge shout out to my patrons who help make these videos possible. If you'd like to help support my channel, you can look into becoming a patron or just share my video with anybody else who might find it helpful. That really helps me out. Uh, with that, I guess uh, I will see you all in my next beauty video. Bye guys.